Oh, butter. What's up guys, David Moss Jr. out here watching my wife continue to just drain it. So first and foremost, I wanna disclose something. I am not an influencer. I am not a paid YouTuber to do these things at all. I sell cars, that's what I do. I do this for fun, this is a hobby. I built a DIY cold plunge. You see it right back there. It started off in my house. It was kind of a goofy at home video. I did it to help other people because there wasn't a lot of DIY cold plunge videos on YouTube. And I wanted to do something that was helpful and document my journey. I cold plunge every day, well, three times a week now, three or more, and uh, it's great. But right here in this box is something very special. And I'm gonna show you what it is. All right, so right here is an ice barrel. And I will tell you, there are some perks to having a very watched YouTube video about my DIY cold plunge. Ice Barrel actually sent me this thing. They wanted me to do an honest review on it, which is really cool because I actually considered buying the Ice Barrel before I decided to build my own cold plunge. Now, if you notice behind me, the cold plunge back there, that Wyatt, my little man here, likes to get in. <laughs> That's a different trough than the one that was inside in my first video. I've, I've kind of experimented with a lot of different troughs. And the reason I didn't buy the ice barrel is because I thought it was gonna cost too much. Well, let me tell you something. I've spent more than I would have spent on the ice barrel on all this other stuff for my DIY. And they're working and it's great, but let's do an honest review on an ice barrel and let's see if we can use my system with an ice barrel. Let's check it out. I'm opening the box, bud. You see Charlie out there? Oh, I went with the tan. See everyone? with the black one, but I feel like I'm in Florida. Well, let's get it out of here, buddy. I feel like the tan is gonna be the one. So what's cool is you've got a lid to lock it all in. All the stuff right here. Let's see what all this is. Base. Stairs to get in and out. That's cool. Ooh, what's that down there? Can I get it? Nope. Hmm. Looking good. There's a surprise in there. What's up, buddy? What are you doing? You cold plunging? <laughs> All right, so at first glance, just pulled it out of the box and pulled everything out. I will say, so me and my wife were just having a conversation about it. The product as it is, is cool, but man, there's some modifications I'm gonna make to make this thing freaking awesome. So. The one thing that I hear a lot of people talk about when it comes to the ice barrel is that it's a barrel that you have to put ice in. All right, that's cool. I mean, granted it's beautiful and it looks good and it's easy to drain. There's a spigot at the bottom, makes it super easy to drain. It's a lot of money for something that you just put water and ice in and you have to keep clean, drain, refill with ice, et cetera, et cetera. What I love about it, what I just found out as soon as I took it out, and this is the thing I couldn't find out online and the thing that kept me from ordering it in the first place I'll show you. All right, this. so it's a pretty barrel. Spigot at the bottom for draining, which is cool, which means there's a hole already bored in there. If you see where I'm going. What, what is it, Dad? It's an ice barrel. What I love, as soon as I noticed, is I was I, I didn't know how thick the sides were going to be, and there's a lip right here. So the lid sits on top of this. The lid sits right on top of this, and it holds everything in here. It keeps everything clean. What I'm going to probably do is I'm gonna take my DIY system and I'm gonna bore a hole through the side and I'm gonna have my cooling system keep the water in the ice barrel clean, filtered, and cold at all times. So this thing is about to be freaking awesome. So a quick recap on the DIY plunge that I built over here. I built a deck. This was all mud and dirt and poop. I put some nice plants in to make it a nice little zen spot. I built a lid. I used this Rubbermaid 110 gallon trough, put a nice little mat down, have a chiller. That was the most expensive piece. That was $1,000 on Amazon, but it keeps my water at whatever I want it. Right now I got it set at 44. Oh no, it sure does. And so full disclosure, I need to drain this water. I haven't drained this water since my last video. This is the original water. And when we had the hurricane come through, I unplugged everything and left the water stagnant for about four days. So I have gotten in it. I know it's kind of gross, but it's really just water. I mean, it's cold water. It just needs to be cleaned out. This kid, if you, this is Wyatt, he's two. 
and he mimics everything we do. So he likes cold plunging, he likes working out, he likes playing basketball and doing all those fun things. But he's involved in everything we do here. So here's my thoughts. I'm thinking if I bore a hole, this is a three quarter inch tube, if I bore a hole into the ice barrel, this is the return, pumping out beautiful 49 degree water. See, it's Florida, so yeah, all that fun stuff. But if I do this system in the ice barrel, I think that could be a way easier way to keep the water clean because this isn't sealed tight. And also, it would just look a lot cooler over here than this. So you wanna see a cool hack with this system? If you wanna drain it, you just keep it running and just pull the tube out and just let it drain, as long as it's outside. I would not recommend doing this inside your house. <laughs> All right, well, I just got in it. I'm six foot one, so it kind of shows it's up to my waist. So it's uh, got plenty of room. What I like about this is you can, you can actually like lean into the barrel. Like it's really comfortable. I was also kind of afraid of that. Like how comfortable is it going to be to kneel down? These are all serious things, you know, like, hey, I sprawl sent me this barrel to do a review on it. I want to give you an honest review. That's who I am, just a dude. I just like to have fun and educate my friends and family and people. <laughs> so funny, buddy. So, uh, from this angle, you can see, like, there's a lip here. So I'm going to bore holes right here. I'm going to drop my stuff in so the water line can go up as high as possible. But, uh... And then just kind of run the tubes down here, do my same setup with the pump, filter, and then the return hose. And I'm gonna turn this ice barrel from an ice barrel into a cold plunge with a fully automatic, all the time chiller. That's gonna be sweet. And I'll tell you, ice barrel creators and stuff, like that would be an easy thing to change to make it possible as an option. But are you gonna get in here with me when it's cold? <laughs> almost fully drained so for those of you who have never seen any of my videos on this I've got a pump goes through a filter goes through the chiller comes out back in creates a cycle of fresh clean cold water and that is a UV filter that has an ultraviolet light keeps anything that could possibly grow in this thing dead oh it's time to unplug it all right, well, the sun's going down. I'm running out of light, and this is what I got set up so far. I re removed my other cold plunge, my DIY, from the area. I put the ice barrel here. It looks a lot better. My wife likes the look of it a lot. The only concerns we have is she's five foot even, and she cold plunges often. So she is curious how she's going to get in and out of this thing, because it is kind of tall. Maybe I'll have to install like a handle up there or something. I don't know, we'll figure that out. But it looks great. I love the quality, the quality looks really good and Ice Barrel asked for some honest reviews. So here's some honest feedback so far. I'm filling it up with water. I got my chiller set up, everything's ready to roll. I gotta get new tubing so that I can make it long enough to go through the top and down in. So um, so that'll be fun. It'd be nice if Ice Barrel had an adapter for a setup like this because I do see a lot of people, especially after my DIY video, using this setup. Um, so it's definitely probably gonna be a request from me and maybe from some other people in the future. At the end of the day, I love that it has a lid that seals it nice and tight. I love that you can use it traditionally with just water and ice if people like that. But from my standpoint right now, I haven't got to plunge in it yet. I haven't set my setup yet. I like it. I think it's gonna be awesome so far. So um, I'm going to call it a night for tonight. I will get back on this project after work tomorrow night. So in the meantime, have a great night yourself, but stay right here because here comes more. My daughter Ava just got home from cheer. She saw the new plunge tumbling and she decided to get in it. We're filling it up. We're filling her up, it's huh? It's not cold. It's not cold right now. Right now it's like a like a big it's barrel. Like Mimi. It's like Mimi. It's like Mimi's pool. Are you gonna get in now? No, but we're playing freeze tag and I'm frozen. I'm You're frozen in the barrel? Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the chiller setup oh. and I'm gonna make this the new plunge. You do guys it like right it? Do it right now, do it right now. You like this better than the lay down one? Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. The challenge is gonna be to see if you can even get out. Get in there with her. No, I got dirty feet. Hey, I don't do that then. Yeah, do you have dirty feet? No, I rinsed it off in the other Girl. One. I don't.
All right, well, it's a beautiful morning. It's not even seven o'clock yet, just finished working out. And I'm gonna pick up some ice because I feel like I would be doing this ice barrel a disservice if I didn't at least test it out the way it was intended. So I'm gonna pick up about, I don't know, six bags of ice. Looks like it's 279 per bag. So I'm gonna go pick that up and we're gonna do a plunge this morning with ice and water and uh, see how that is first. So I just picked up $20 worth of ice, which is only six, seven pound bags. So that's the only thing that could get expensive. I don't know how long the ice is gonna last in the barrel in Florida. Um, it's been a little bit cooler out because of the hurricane that came through, but it's uh, starting to warm back up. So I'm gonna go do a plunge before I go to work today. And then uh, I'm curious to see after the entire day how much ice is left in there. So I'm gonna document that on this for anyone who's curious how long the ice might actually stay ice you know it's not insulated like crazy amount at all so we'll just play that by ear but then as i told you my my next step is going to be to create my diy cold plunge with an ice barrel because i truly do think that this ice barrel setup is better than any of the troughs the, the lay down troughs that i've been able to find or use so we're going to go do a quick plunge and have some fun So that was six, seven pound bags of ice. It's already nice and cold. So I'm gonna jump in there while the ice is still ice. All right, so the moment of truth, I'm about to get into the ice barrel for the very first time. Hopefully I don't die getting in this thing. Oh, it's not bad. All right. It's gonna take some getting used to. All right. Not bad. Oh my God, that is amazing. And I'm, I, as you can tell with this entire video, um, this isn't just a pro buy the ice barrel video. You know, it's funny, like in the beginning of this video, I was like, I'm not an influencer. I am not a paid YouTuber. Um, granted, did, ice barrel did send me this barrel. So I guess that's worth something. But, um, you know, I wanted to do an honest review and I'm gonna keep my channel this way. So like, if you're interested in legit honest reviews about things, that's what my channel is gonna be about. I have a great job. I don't need to become a YouTuber to live a great life. I love what I do. This isn't what I do, this is just for fun. But um, I will say that from from laying down in the trough, um, laying down in like the bed or not to call out any other companies, but there's most of the cold plunges out there are lay down versions. This is the most comfortable I've ever been in a cold plunge in an ice in this ice barrel so uh, i don't know the exact temperature i put six seven pound bags in here it's about 60 degrees 65 degrees outside right now so the ice is ice still which is great it's definitely cold i don't think it's in the 30s it might be high 40s probably low 50s i don't have my thermometer because my kids like to take my things and play with them as toys and they don't typically put them back but um I'm right now a huge fan and I'm now seeing where the water line is. I can easily add my chiller setup to this to keep the water filtered and clean and cold at all times, no matter what the temperature is outside. So I'm beyond excited about this ice barrel and I want to thank ice barrel for sending me this. So I will say I've been in here for two minutes now, two minute plunge ice ice everywhere which is great um i'm a fan i'm a huge fan matter of fact i just got real excited so i'm gonna continue sitting in here for probably i'm gonna do a five minute plunge why not but um one thing i like to do if you are a plunger yourself or you are interested is try to get fully underwater like fully underwater and this is gonna make it real easy because i can just sit down Doing a plunge in the morning, oh, before work, just sets up such a good day, especially after a good workout. So I'm gonna stay in here for, I don't know, a few more minutes, get a really nice chill on this morning, go to work, have a great day, and then I'm going to 
set my plunge up. So appreciate you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're interested in this stuff. Uh, I post a lot of random videos, a lot of random reviews on things that I personally use and my family personally uses. So yeah, if you're, uh, if you're like me, then you'll like me. If you're not, then you probably won't. So have a great day either way. All right, so this ice barrel is about to get a incredible upgrade. Got myself a one inch drill bit. And this is three quarter inch tubing, which means I'll have just a tiny little bit of a gap in between the tube and the outside of the barrel. So it should eliminate a lot of debris. I can always seal it up if I need to, but I'm gonna go drill a couple holes in this thing, run my tubes, build my DIY setup into this ice barrel and make this thing the most incredible ice barrel on the planet. So I'm gonna put this thing right under the lip. So just kind of show you my setup. Got my chiller. This is where the water comes in. Goes through a nice little strainer, just kind of catches the big debris. My pump, which is an aquarium submersible pump. Thing's a beast. This is gonna go in the bottom and it's gonna suck the water out. Filters through this little guy right here. Suck the water out, goes through the chiller and I'm gonna add a longer tube to push the water back in. So here's the, here's the thing, here's why I'm doing this. So I put ice in here this morning and it's stagnant water. And I really think the ice barrel is awesome. I think it's the most comfortable thing I've ever plunged in. But I do think this little upgrade, a little hole right there, I'm gonna add another hole so I can have obviously the water go back in. This little upgrade is going to be a game changer for this. Yes, it is. All right, setup complete. So kind of the annoying thing is this strainer, I don't recommend it, drain, it, it leaks. So if I have it outside the barrel, it leaks a steady leak. I put plumber's tape on it. I've got everything in there to keep it from leaking, but it's leaking. So I'm just gonna, I redid it. I just set it all up with the strainer out here, but uh, I'm gonna move it inside. So that way, if it does leak, at least it's keeping the water in the barrel. And I'm gonna go turn this thing on and just see how it looks. I'll, you know, tighten all this stuff up, keep it out of the, keep it, you know, out of just dangling. But I think this is gonna work. And I think it's gonna keep my water nice and cool. I hear water running. Oh yeah, see how it's leaking? A steady drip. Let's not worry about that. How about that? It's gonna create a nice little circle of life. It's gonna keep it nice and filtered, keep the water nice and clean. If I get this thing here all kind of pinned to the side, I think it'll be better, but actually it's not gonna be a problem because I'm gonna sit my back over here so i won't even be getting in the way honestly but everything's nice and tight really nothing's going to get through those teeny little cracks chillers on let's turn the boost on let's turn the boost on for 24 7. see right now it's at 74. that's not good i had the lid on this thing ice this morning did a nice plunge this morning in it so it did not keep the water very cold. I'm in Florida, sun was shining today. So uh, yeah, but have no fear. DIY cold plunge in the ice barrels here. All right, so that's great news. I did not expect to get this done that fast, but my ice barrel meets my DIY cold plunge. You gotta check out the video on my DIY cold plunge. A lot of people have, it's on my channel. I'm gonna post it here somewhere. I'm gonna put the little thing up. I'm learning all that stuff, whatever. But right now it's flowing, got my lid. Got my lid on nice and snug. Got my tubes running right in there. Mm. Right now the water's 75, I got it set to 44. So hopefully by tomorrow morning I can take a nice plunge. It's a fresh clean water right in here. One thing I'm gonna add, uh, a lot of people ask, how do you keep the water clean for the most part? I use hydrogen peroxide food grade. I throw, I don't know, I, I throw, I just kinda eyeball it. Throw some in there, keeps the water nice and cool, nice or nice and clean kills any of the bacteria and stuff. And um, yeah, so that's that. Pretty sweet, huh? Pretty sweet. All right, good morning. Just got done with another good workout and I'm excited. I got Brandon, my buddy, we're gonna go and uh, he's gonna have his first cold plunge ever in the ice barrel. So we'll get to see a review from somebody who's never cold plunged before. And we're gonna get to see my review after I've got this thing set up on my system. 
with my spare, which I truly think is going to be the best cold plunge setup out there. So uh, let's go check it out. What a beautiful morning for a plunge. All right, so this is what I love about my system. The ice barrel is amazing. Check that out. I don't know if you can see it, 46 degrees. It's about 70 and change out right now. It's getting a little hot back out here in Florida. It's just running. Got the lid, keeping the bugs and stuff out. Oh yeah. Oh baby. All right, so me and Brandon just got done with a great workout. Brandon's about to have his first plunge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rinse off in the hose. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna climb in there and just suffer. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, see, that's the warm up to the, that's the cold up to the really cold plunge. <laughs> All right, Big Bear, just climb in there. Don't touch it, just, just get in there. <laughs> it's cold. It's really cold. Bro, I'm proud of you, man. You just dipped right in there. Uh, mix deep, deep breaths. Hey. <laughs> yeah, take some deep breaths. So it'll help you control your breathing. Hey, how comfortable is that? It's very comfortable. So you didn't try the lay down one, but the lay down one, you you kind of I don't know. Have you ever gotten like a tub and you feel like you have to? Like you feel like you have to lay down and relax, but it's really not. I've never gotten comfortable in a tub. Like I really haven't. But being like this is I'm comfortable. Than I've ever been in the tub version. Ooh, hands are cold, feet are cold, numbing up. Now go all the way under. Don't die. <laughs> Bro, you are gonna feel like a new man today. Kind of like torture a little bit, but I'm sure you probably get used to it. You get used to it. The cool thing is you've been in there for over a minute already. I'm out. That's good. Big bear out. <laughs> Big bear out. So when I first was putting this thing together without water in it, I was like, man, this thing's going to tip over. How am I supposed to get out of this thing? But with the base that it's on and with all the weight and all the water, it's actually super stable. Hey, so what do you think, man? First impressions. I love it. Something you gotta get used to. Super cold, <laughs> but of course, you can dig it. <laughs> Good job, bro. All right, so this is gonna be my first official plunge with my setup. It's 47 degrees right now, set at 44. It keeps it right in there, about five degrees difference. That's what I love about the chiller setup. And this is the same setup that most of the $5,000 plus systems have. So I encourage you to do a DIY. I also, after this, I'm gonna encourage you to Check out an ice barrel if you're interested in doing a DIY because I've never been in something more comfortable being uncomfortable. So let's jump in right here. It's actually not as hard to get in. I don't kind of tall. I gotta say, when you first get into this thing, like the difference between sitting and laying into uh, like a lay down plunge and this is like you're still active. And I think one of the biggest parts about turning that, turning your fat into brown fat and getting a lot of benefits is also staying active and staying moving while you're plunging. So to go ahead and get up in here. So as you saw in the beginning of the video or in the middle when I set up my system is I have a filter that keeps the water clean from debris and stuff that happens to get in here when you're getting in and out. I've got a return pump that's just pushing water. It's a three quarter pipe. I had a half inch pipe on my first DIY. A lot of people saw that video. I would encourage you if you saw that video to check out this video and maybe upgrade your system because this is I got I to gotta be honest, like I didn't think I was going to like it at first, but I'm super stoked. Thank you so much Ice Barrel for sending me this barrel to review. If you are interested in an Ice Barrel, I'm going to put the link in the description. They did give me a discount code to send to people. It saves you like 125 bucks or something like that. Every little dollar counts, so feel free to use that. I'll put that in the description below as well. But in the meantime, I'm going to spend three minutes in here. I'm going to get fully underwater and I'm going to go have a crushing day. I hope you do the same thing. Whatever you do, just remember to always have as much fun as you can. Torture yourself a little bit. Movement is living. Stay moving. Have a great day and God bless.